you today? Good, good. You have a good night today, so. Alright, so um, let me ask you a question. Uh, anyone here has failed a job interview, interview before? Yes? Yes? Okay. You want to share, like, why? Do you know why? Do you know why you failed? So, So apart from that one, um, so basically today, I'd like to share with you uh, as the interviewer. Uh, in my job, I interview quite a lot of people, uh, different roles, different levels. And uh, basically, I look for three things when I interview people, okay? Um, whether they have the right skill set, Second thing is whether they have a culture fit, whether they should fit into a team or not. And the third thing is the asking salary. Okay? So in prepare for your next job interview, uh, okay, let's go through each stage, then I explain more how you prepare for those two, three things. Okay? So first thing first, uh, do your homework before the interview. Do your homework, okay? Find out as much information about the job uh, as possible, all right? So the company you work for, look at the internet, look at the website, and uh, uh, understand about the company, their ambitions. Uh, then, very, very important, understand who's gonna interview you. Uh, you find out how many people are going to interview you, the, how long the session is going to be, because it, it gives you the context of how, how you're going to deal with the, you know, uh, the, the questions and you know, like, how, how you're going to do in the interviews. Okay, very important. And also do your homework about asking salary. Find out about the range, if they provide the budget. If not, look on the internet for the average salaries for the same role. Okay? It's very important that you ask for the right salary. I'm gonna tell you why, why later. Okay? Alright, next. During the interview, okay, um, how long should you come before the interview? Do you think? Half an hour? Yes? 15 minutes, yes. Half an hour is too long because you get nervous. If you get there, you get nervous. Alright, so 10 to 15 minutes is the right amount. Just go there, sit straight, observe. Look at the atmosphere. See how people interact with each other. It gives you the sense of the company itself. Remember, when you interview for a job, that you're looking for the right job to work, not only they find the right people, you also find the right company. So you need to look at the interview, see your colleagues, your future colleagues. You need to observe about that, okay? Get the interview, um, you know, sit. If the interviewer is already in the, in the room, then you probably just, you know, sit opposite, obviously. But if you're the first one in the room, choose the spot that face the wall. Do not get any instructions because you need to focus totally on the interviewer. All right, you don't want to be distracted by the people walking by. All right, so okay, sit there, answer the questions. Uh, obviously, they're going to ask you about technical questions, whether they find the right skill sets. Remember, very very important. This is a conversation, not question and answer. Why? Because they're looking for colleagues. They're looking for a colleague where they can exchange information, you know, like talking to each other, making conversations, solving the problem together. Alright, so when they ask you a question, technically, you answer the questions, always give the example and ask back, clarify further details. Make it so that they are comfortable with you. 
because they're going to judge you on a skill set, also they're going to judge you whether you're the right fit for the organization, whether they can work with you or not. That's the culture assessment. Very important, okay? So, um, just answer the questions. Prepare the questions beforehand, because you need to answer. Usually, you know, if 30 minutes or, or, or half an hour, you know, like one hour, it's not enough for both sides to understand each other. Just remember all the questions. You might skip some questions. You can tell them, you know, like, okay, uh, I don't know much about this one, but I'm gonna answer later. Or, you know, like, just give as much information as possible. Make it a conversation. You don't know about the problem, you don't know about the questions, then show your thinking process. Okay? Then, all right. Um, two more, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, importantly, very last question is uh, salary. Okay? They're going to ask you how much you want. What is your asking salary? This is important. You don't want to answer too low, you don't want to answer too high. Too low, you undervalue. Okay? You consider yourself too low. Too high, they're, gonna go. they're not going to negotiate. Because if they hire you uh, with this lower salary, then three months later, you're going to quit anyway. You're going to find a job. So asking the salary in the right range, very, very important. If you don't know their range, you have to say, I do the research on the internet. This is the average salary, and I think that I deserve this salary. Okay. Give them reasons, okay? All right, cool. <laughs> uh, Right, last, uh, last step is when you go home, what you should do, please write a thank you letter for the time, okay, and answer all the questions that you could not answer during the interview, and ask more questions that you haven't got a chance, right. this shows that you are interested in the job, you are genuinely interested in the job, okay. All right, uh, in summary, hopefully that you know, like uh, your takeaway today is you know, three things that you should remember. Uh, the skill set, obviously they have to uh, evaluate you. Very important, culture, okay? Remember one thing, they looking for a colleague. You have to make it as a conversation. You have to be right fit. And the third one is the asking salary has to be in the right range. Thank you very much.